Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brooke and welcome back to this FIFA 16 Spurs career mode. And I really hope you enjoyed the last episode as it was the first one, obviously. Um, it's going to be a lot more better than that, to say the least. But anyway, we are going to be getting in straight away into the first game against Sunderland. I simulated it because it's one of the lower end Premier League teams. I'm really sorry for simulating a lot of games. I was going to change after episode 5 because I pre-recorded a lot so I'm going to be editing them, post commentating like this and whatnot. So anyway, we do actually draw this game nil-nil but listen to this epic music really quick. Well here we are Alan off and running, we love Screw this competition the Champions it's Cup, really it's the group stage match day one. Yeah the start of what can be a fantastic journey uh, I'm, if you I really put heard it together, if you do everything right too big game. Like that. The game today, However, we are playing against Sevilla, the uh, no oh good chance there from uh, what's it is that Kevin Gamera? Maybe? I'm not sure. But yeah, they get a good first chance there. And uh, Moussa Dembele passes it through to Griezmann. And Griezmann gets that Champions League debut goal after the beautiful play by Dembele, bullying off at midfielders, playing lovely through ball. Griezmann cutting in, scoring. That is just good. And uh, we also get another chance here. Deli Alli coming through. Nearly gets tackled, but then turns around, gives Griezmann. Griezmann on the half volley, skies it, but unfortunately, yeah. Anyway, well, I forgot what I was saying now. But anyway, Conor Pianka gets through, Hugo Lloris saves it, and they get a goal, which is really annoying, to say the least. I was really happy when I scored that goal with Griezmann, but yeah. Kevin Gamero gets another chance. He keeps getting so many chances. But, Carl Walker's there. Demolay's back doing what he does best. And then mispasses it, but Carl Walker's there to save the day and put us 2-1 up in the 55th minute. And this is something that I was really surprised about. Harry Kane's getting onto it. And that was a beautiful, beautiful slide tackle from them. But we also get another chance through Harry Kane putting it through to Marco Trashford. I try and cut back and finesse, but nothing goes well unfortunately so yeah we won the game 2-1 first Champions League victory now we're going into our game against Crystal Palace right here and to say the least Hong Song gets a yellow card but redeems himself by getting a goal on the score sheet so that's not too bad there is it so, our form this episode has been a uh, draw or a win. Ledley gets a goal, unfortunately, to put it one all. But, let's see what happens in the late stages of the match, the latter stages. Oh yeah, Christian Eriksen gets another goal to the score sh to his goal tally. But we're getting straight into our game with Southampton as well. So, that's a draw, a win, and a win. And this game really, really ticks me off. So, yeah, he gets the ball there. Beautiful header. And that volley, oh, that was that was a really good goal. I was really shocked that Shane Long just pulled that out of the bag, to be honest, because it was it was a pretty good goal, nonetheless. However, I, ju I just couldn't really do much about it for some reason. But yeah, we carry on with kickoff. Uh, but our play is doing quite well here. Hong Wing Song is running through. He gets the free kick. Like that was a really horrible tackle from Pine. Just completely took out the leg. Cedric, the uh, the reigning Euro champion in the back line of Portugal. Congratulations. Yes. It's a bit late now, but still. Hong Wing Song takes a free kick. This is an appalling free kick, to be fair. That was awful. And... Banyama gets a good chance there. He just puts it wide. I, I was so scared about that. But we get a corner, and Harry Kane is trying to make up for himself. His poor form, and he just gets absolutely taken out. It's disgusting. I don't like it at all. And my rule is, if you win it, you take it. No, it's not. It's just give it to Kane, and Kane does that with it. 
So we get one we get one wall draw at this rate. However, annoyingly, they get a free kick. But what happens from this free kick? Oh yeah, I go to throw it and it just rolls to that player. And he just goes in, he's just like what the hell? And I lost the game and I was out of the Capital One Cup. So I got really, really, really ticked off and then just decided to simulate the rest of my games. And this game against City was not the most pleasant game, to be fair. It was a hard game, nonetheless. It would have been hard if I played it, but I just wasn't in the mood because Nasri scores in the 49th minute, but then Kane scores a few minutes later, luckily. But still, they get a red card and, and we still didn't get to get that goal ahead at home. And then I just played the game I didn't play the game, I simulated the game against Sporting because I just couldn't deal with the frustration anymore. So that happened. And guess what happened from this game? Absolutely nothing. That yellow card in that fifth minute and absolutely nothing. No, like, it was a complete waste of time. I was so freaking angry. And I've just left it on the screen for ages because I've been I was raging at that point. It was it was just oh, the bane of my existence to be honest. So anyway, next game. I simulated the game against Swansea as well because I just wanted to get a lot of games done. To get through the season quickly. And Walker gets to go in the first minute. So my form has been win, draw, win. No. Draw, win, win, loss, draw. <coughs> so, my form has been draw, win, win, loss, draw, draw. And guess what? Another draw. So, anyway, guys, if you did enjoy that video, please be sure to hit the like button. I've just nearly choked to death on the crumb. But yes, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.